Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. This video is going to be in addition to the laser gun video that I posted recently. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can switch between a damage shot and a heal shot by clicking a letter on the keyboard rather than switching to a new weapon. So by default, it's going to start with the damage shot and that works just like normal. Now by pressing a letter on the keyboard, I can switch to a healing shot and now it's healing instead of doing damage. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. To toggle between the two different shots, we're going to be adding a local script inside of this label right here, and we're going to make a slight adjustment to the local script inside of the gun. The main purpose of this GUI on the screen is just to let the player know which shot they were on, but if you have a different way of doing this, that's completely fine. If you want to add this into your game, just add a screen GUI. So locate start a GUI, click on the plus sign, click on screen GUI to start with. After you do that, you're going to click on screen GUI, click on the plus sign, and then click on text label. Once you add the text label, go ahead and rename it to label. Inside this text label, we're going to be adding a string value, which we're going to be storing the shot type. To add that, just go and click on the plus sign. This is going to be a string value, so go ahead and just add a string value. Rename that string value to shot type, and then set the default value to damage. Before we move on to the scripting, you can customize the look of your text label. A few things I did, I changed the background color to gray. I set the background transparency to 0.5. Down under the text section, I chose sci-fi for the font. For the text color, I chose red. And then for text scaled, I selected the text box. You're welcome to design this however you want to. When you're finished, add a local script inside the label. Inside this local script, we're going to start by saying local label is equal to script dot parent. Then we're going to say local shot type is going to be equal to label dot shot type. Next, we're going to set the default text for the label. So we're going to say label dot text, and that's going to be equal to shot type dot value. So since we set the value to damage, that's going to be the default text. After that, we want to make sure the text is updated every time this value changes. To do that, we're going to say shot type dot change colon connect. Here we're going to say function. Inside this function, the only thing we're going to do is update the text. So we're going to say label dot text, and that's going to be equal to shot type dot value. Down below this, we're going to change the shot type every time the user clicks a key on the keyboard. So let's start by saying local UIS user input service is going to be equal to game colon get service. Inside here, we're going to put user input service. After that, we're going to say UIS dot input began colon connect and then function. Inside the parentheses next to function, we're going to put input. That's going to be the type of input we receive. Next, we're going to say if input dot user input type is equal to enum dot user input type dot keyboard. Then we want to check to see what key was pressed. So we're going to say if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code dot. And here's where you're going to choose the letter that you want to use. I chose the letter V, but you can change this to whatever letter you want to. And here we just have to remember if we're checking equality, we're going to use two equal signs. So if the key code is equal to the letter V, then what I'm going to do is change the shot type value. First, I need to check to see what type it was initially. So I'm going to say if shot type dot value is equal to damage, then what I want to do is change it to heal. So I'm going to say shot type dot value is equal to heal. And then I'm going to say otherwise. I'm going to change the shot type to damage. I can use an else here because there's only two options, either damage or heal. But if you're using more than two options, then you're going to want to use an else if and specify the type. The other thing that you might want to do is change the text color depending on the type of shot. So once I change it to heal, I'm going to change the text color to green. So I'm going to say label dot text color three is going to be equal to color three dot new. Here you can either choose a color or type the values. So I'm going to use green. Once you select your color, you can press OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. 
And this time, instead of green, I'm going to change it to red. Okay, so this section right here is going to change the shot type value. And then every time that changes, it's going to update the label. Let's go ahead and test this out real quick to make sure it's working. So if I press V on the keyboard, you can see it changes. So it went from damage to heal. And then if it's on heal and I press it again, it goes back to damage. The other change that we're going to make is on the local script inside of the tool. On this script, we're going to create another variable. We're going to say local shot type is equal to game.players.localplayer.playerGUI. And then we're going to wait for their screen GUI to load. From there, we're going to reference the label and then the shot type. Down here where we're doing the fire server, we're going to change this last part, which we had either damage or heal. And we're going to set that equal to the shot types value. So this line right here is getting the value stored here. And then it's going to send that to the server. All right, and that should do it. So let's just go ahead and test everything together and make sure it's all good. Okay, so by default, I have a damage shot. I can press V to change to a heal shot, and that automatically changes. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. If you have any other ideas, let me know. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.